For serious YouTubers, save time and money with TubeBuddy, the premier tool used at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On my continuing series on making the move from Windows or Mac over to Linux, Today I'm going to be talking about something that most people probably don't think about and that is the built-in programs that you get with your operating system. Whether you are buying a brand new computer or whether you are installing the operating system itself. Now this is part of my series so if you are not familiar on how to actually install Linux in a virtual machine, I do have a video showing you how to do that. And so let's go ahead and get into my virtual machine and we're actually going to be looking first at what's available in Windows 10 right out of the box. And then after that, I'm going to be showing you the same thing on Linux Mint 18.2 Sonya. Now the Windows version that I'm running here is actually Windows 10 Pro. So let's go ahead and go here and look at my about. And there you see I have Windows 10 Pro. So this is a fresh install so I have not installed any other programs. And so what I'm going to be looking at is what do you actually get built in to your operating system whenever you first use your computer. Now of course you can always download additional programs or buy additional programs but I'm just looking to see what you get right out of the box for a person using their computer for the first time. So um, everything is alphabetical in Windows 10. So some of the things that you know, you're know you gonna get by default on pretty much every operating system are things like calculators, calendars, and a camera function. And you also get Cortana here as well. So I could definitely call that a feature that you get with your operating system. And then as you go down further, these are more help related stuff. Uh, Office is not free, so you do have to get uh, pay for it in this case if you want Microsoft Office. And there's also a music software, it's called Groove Music. And here you could actually find new music or it looks like you could also use this as a way to organize your uh, playlist and all the music available on your computer as well. Okay, so let's keep going. And then you also have this thing called Keeper Password Manager. Okay, now it looks like you're going to have to sign up in order to use this, but it looks like a convenient way for you to manage all your passwords in one place. Okay, so let me see if there was a way that you could do that without an email. Nope, you're going to have to register, put in an email of some sort. Now, these are all the other things that you would normally get mail, maps. There are some game, I don't know if these are the full games. Or they might be demos. Yeah, they might be. Uh, they might be demos. Yeah, who knows? But you do get some games with it, which is pretty cool. Uh, once it downloads, so I'm gonna go ahead and close that. There was also another game that you probably might have heard of. <laughs> One is Solitaire. I got a Solitaire session right here, and this is a really cool version of Solitaire. I. I don't know how many people still love Solitaire, but I still really enjoy Solitaire. So I really am happy that Windows 10 and all versions of Windows have Solitaire. And this this is the best version I've seen. And then also, you also get a, a, a small game called Minecraft. <laughs> so it's Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. I did try to play this or actually load it up, uh, but this is in a virtual machine. so. Um, nothing really came up here so I think it's just a, because the, it's in a virtual machine but that's really cool that you know since Microsoft owns my uh, Minecraft now it makes sense for them to include that you know so that's nice that that's already there okay so keep going down movies and TV so you could actually purchase movies right through the Windows Store right here so that is definitely convenient. Um, there is also a news app built in. So yeah, pretty cool. Let's keep going down. There's also a OneDrive service. So you can use OneDrive for all your online stores. There's OneNote. 
so you could take notes but it's also stored online and this one I'm not sure what that is okay Wi-Fi and cellular providers okay and there's also something pretty cool there's paint but it's paint 3d so I'm pretty impressed by the fact that they included this you know so it's more advanced than just normal paint so you could get like different 3d projects going right here with paint 3d so that's pretty cool way more advanced than having ms paint back in a day okay so let's keep it down there's a photos app people that's all your contacts great and you know just like what Google and Apple try to do uh, they try to make sure that you sync all of this uh, with their online storage or online servers as well which uh, I'm kind of wary of because I don't want them to have all my pictures and videos there's also a built-in collage creator as well and also some advertising let me see okay so these are all like administrative stuff there is sticky notes Skype is built in which is nice there's your Microsoft store and then let's get down to accessories and what I'm really looking at is programs that are built in right when you install your you know your operating system right when you buy your computer okay so I'm not really looking at all the tools and administrative stuff okay so here another 3d tool very cool you know Microsoft is really heading towards more of the design people you know where which Apple used to focus on so that's nice that they're including these very powerful tools that probably most people won't use but it's great that they include that there's a character map as well so here okay Internet Explorer obviously there's a map tool notepad everybody knows and here's good old paint <laughs> basic paint I really do like paint a lot I think it's a very powerful tool and um, I, you know it's kind of like the forgotten tool but I use I use paint quite a bit back in the day uh, so there's a quick assist okay remote desktop connection cool it's really cool that they already included that let me see there's also a snippets tool which is nice so you know if you want to take a snippet of a screenshot or something this is an excellent tool it's really great that they allow this so you know you could easily take screenshots of your computer or take portions of it okay now this steps recorder what this allows you to do is if you are having problems with your computer you can record the steps that you are taking on your computer and then you can provide that to Microsoft uh, for assistance so I think that's a great tool for people who are really you know not very technically savvy and you know sometimes it's hard for people to explain what's going on Windows and Facts of course there's Windows Media Player you know back in the day or not even back in the day but it wasn't too long ago that you know Windows Media Player would a lot you know would add a video editor as well a very basic one but now that's not part of it anymore unfortunately there's also WordPad a more advanced text pad or notepad right there and yeah that looks like those are the main things that they provide for free the XPS viewer not sure what that's for to be honest with you but as you can see here you know Windows 10 or Microsoft they do provide quite a few tools for most people and also some very advanced tools like these uh, 3d builder or even uh, paint 3d and so it has a lot of the tools that I think for most people that they'll need so let's go ahead and uh, look at what is provided with Linux Mint right out of the box and out of all the versions of Linux you know I've said it many times Linux Mint is my favorite and one of the big things that I love about Linux Mint is the fact that they provide you everything that you would need I mean for the majority of people I would say like more than 95% of people if they were to use Linux Mint right out of the bat 
a lot of the built-in programs that cover pretty much everything you know like I, I would say for a lot of people it's just really awesome and so first thing is your accessories so this one I don't think a lot of people are gonna use just to open up this program but you know here you have your calculator character map just like you did in Windows see there's a character map over here I just think it looks bigger <laughs> and then uh, easier to use in my opinion and here you could manage your driving disk but there's also a built-in PDF viewer okay so you don't have to download any type of PDF viewer it's already built in you could also view all the fonts on your machine as well so it's a handy tool and just remember this is a fresh install so I haven't done anything here as well just like the Windows 10 Pro I haven't done anything on that one so this is if somebody was using this for the very first time Okay. Now you also have a image viewer. You could view all your images. And just like in Windows 10, there is a password manager. This is your primarily if you're going to be using secure things such as uh, GPG or OpenSSH, you could manage all your keys here. Okay. And keep going down. There's also accessibility tools as well okay for people who are visually or audio impaired uh, there's a screen reader which will read everything that you're doing on your sh computer which is really cool and there's also a virtual keyboard as well so these are really nice things nice touches that is built in and that's easily accessible as well so you don't have to go through a lot of menus it's already built in right here under your accessories and then here uh, one of my favorite tools is the screenshot tool that is very similar to the snippet tool in Windows 10 that we saw here. Uh, I just think that the one in Linux, in my opinion, is easier to use. Okay. So let's keep going down. Text editor, probably <laughs> one of my most used tools. I love the text editor. There's a Tomboy Note, so that's similar to the Sticky Notes tool in Windows 10. And here's some other things that are very useful. You have a built-in USB image writer. So, for example, if you were to download a Linux Mint ISO or a Windows ISO, um, it, which is an ISO file, you could actually create a bootable USB stick right from this program. Okay. And also, you could easily format USB sticks as well using a USB USB stick formatter right here. So very handy tools that you can use then you don't have to download okay so moving on you also have GIMP already built in so you know if you want to do some more advanced image editing it's already built in and there's also pics as well uh, which you can use to organize all your pictures in one place very simple tool and also a built-in scanning program as well so if you had a scanner there's already a program built in so you don't have to uh, download a you know scanner software once again very useful and when you go down the internet obviously uh, your browser is already built in but here instead of uh, Microsoft's Edge browser you get Firefox there is a chat tool called hex chat and also pigeon which I like so if you do a lot of chatting you know pigeon has um, pretty much it has all types of uh, compatibility with all the main chat tools that you can think of okay so so that's really cool that that's all here and once again very simple to use and you also have Thunderbird built right in so you know your email management tool so similarly you can also get this on Windows of course but you know this is already built in so that's nice to have that I use that quite a bit as well then you also have a tool for uh, BitTorrents as well you can manage all of it right here for your file sharing okay built in already so moving on to office LibreOffice is already built in you know so you, you could do all your office related stuff right out of the box and then moving on to sound and video here's your media player uh, this is the basic media player that's already built in um, I don't really like this media player but luckily they also provided you with VLC, which I would prefer over the standard media player. And you also have Rhythm Box, which allows you, very similar to the whole uh, Groove Music program right here, okay, 
uh, it allows you to manage all your different music and also you could connect to different uh, radio stations or online radio stations as well through last fm so that's really cool and overall those are the main tools uh, programs that are built into linux mint like i said i didn't want to go over any of the administrative tools but in my opinion as you can see here in linux mint provides more built-in programs that are actually useful okay and I do also want to state that it's organized a lot easier you know I have mentioned this before in a previous video how Linux is easier to use than Windows and it even goes into the way things are organized you know I don't have to keep scrolling down and find stuff and this is organized by alphabetical but it's not organized by the type of programs that you have whereas in this one I just think it's a lot easier to find everything that you need and it makes sense so those are the built-in tools and like I said in either operating system there's a lot of programs that you could download or buy but in this case I just really feel Linux Mint has the advantage when it comes to built-in programs because these are programs that I think will cover the majority of people you know like whether you are using it for school business it's all here whether you are somebody who does multimedia it is built in already and then also just tools like this USB image writer formatter um, and also things such as you know the accessibility tools or the screenshot tool all of these things are I think very helpful and they are built in so you know you could start working or start using your computer right away without thinking of other programs that you might need to get set up before you actually use it so that's it for this particular episode you know I, I think if there's anything that will help you you know get into using Linux a lot easier or quicker then that's always a bonus and once again Linux Mint you know allows you to get into using Linux much quicker uh, without having to go through a lot of setup and also without having to go through an extremely high learning curve and because a lot of these programs that I just talked about say like GIMP or Thunderbird or so forth or LibreOffice they are already available on Windows however you don't have to download and install them so that's it for this episode if you had any thoughts on built-in programs or other useful programs in either Windows 10 or in Linux Mint be sure to leave it in the comments area below and if you did get value out of these videos leave a like and subscribe and if you wanted to support my channel further you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and i'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.